19 year old Geringer High School student shot and killed last night in North Charlotte. Johnny McClendon, uh, his family gave us these pictures. The family tells us he was a young, energetic kid who loved playing basketball. In fact, he had just made the basketball team for his school. Our Brandon Hamilton live from CMPD headquarters tonight, live at five. And Brandon, you were back in his North Charlotte neighborhood today. So what did you find out? Uh, Molly, I was in, I, you know, off camera talk with Johnny's family who just, you know, told me that he was a good kid. He was proud to have made the JV squad at Garinger High School. I also talked with a community activist, Will Adams. He tells me that the community is willing and will stand by this family. 14 years old, my son was 15. So, you know, when I heard it, you know, it, immediately, it just hit here. A feeling that's personal for Will Adams. His son was shot and killed in Charlotte in 2008. Monday, he was on Keswick Drive talking with the family of 14-year-old Johnny McClendon. CMPD says the teenager was shot and killed around 740 Sunday night. I did speak with the father. Um, he was actually cleaning up his son's blood. Um, you know, you can see the hurt and pain in his eyes. Uh, he did tell me that his son was a big basketball fan, loved to play basketball, say he had just made the team at Garinger, so he was excited about that. CMS says counselors are available for students and will be visible on campus. His sister had bought him some Jordans um, that he was in a hurry to get home to, you know, and he never got to put them on the feet. So the father said he going to have to bury my son in, in the Jordans that his sister, you know, and it was like, they did tell me he's a big Kyrie Irving fan. Right now, it's unclear what led up to the shooting, but the facts are another child is dead. Adam says he told dad the community is here to help. I actually told him to lean on his higher power the minute he buries his son. All those people that if you need anything, if you did, they go back to their life. And again, I did speak with Johnny's family off camera. They are understandably having to deal with a lot and just comprehending what has exactly happened. They're also now planning his funeral. Now, we have more information on how you can help on WBTV.com. As far as the suspect, CMPD would only say their investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live at CMPD headquarters in Uptown Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. Brandon, thank you.